Which one of the uh Try a darker color. Let's see if that makes any difference. Yeah. Like I said, it's still kind of low light. I don't know if it'll help or not. It's a little bit of procure on. Actually, I think this is a one eighth ounce uh, Texas eye here. this creek a little more I'm not sure how far I can go up in here <laughs> got a tight spot up here I might try to squeeze through if I can get through it. I would like to try to get on as far back as I can go before the tide turns, starts coming back in. seeing too much bait activity back here in this this leg though one Nice one, nice one to start today. Get this hook out of him real quick. Kind of surprised, I thought it was going to be a red. But, uh, Yeah. 
something a little bitty cooler today, so. Uh, he's about 19, 18 and a half, 19 inches. My hands are still about numb. But. Okay. One on the boat. Let's see if we can add to it. Started out with this uh, gold colored Z Man this morning on a, it's a one eighth. All set belly weighted worm hook which I use a lot of these things especially if there's any structure um, a lot less likely to hang up I love those Texas side jig heads too and uh that would be a good choice in here too because there's many shells in here where we're at. So and I've got one of those on my other rod. I might swap over to it a minute and try it to see if they might want a little darker color because it's still kind of low light in here. Especially back here where I'm at now. I've got this little these trees uh, Keeping this part of the creek in the shade. <laughs> Definitely a shallow creek. I've already bumped bottom a couple times with the trolling motor. And I've got it adjusted up almost as high as I can get it without the props coming out of the water. Try to ease on back in this creek. As far as I can. Hopefully I pick up a red or two in here too. Okay, I've got a Got an otter coming down the creek at us. I saw him way down the creek, and first I thought maybe it was a red tailing down there, but he kept coming and coming. I think he got wind of me now. We'll see how close we can get to him. What I love about fishing these little skinny creeks, you never know what you're going to see back in them. Uh, I think he just spooked going back the other way now. You can see his wake. <laughs> Pretty neat. See all kinds of wildlife. Thought for sure there might be a couple of reds back in here, but uh, so far all we got is that one striper, and I think I'm gonna run out of water right up here. 
So, right, I'll try to get as far as we can. Probably going to turn around and try to go out of here and go to another creek. Garrett's got the other leg of this one sewed up. So, got another new one I've been wanting to try to explore. Haven't been to it yet. I really would have liked to do it on the outgoing tide. Because I haven't fished back here where I'm at on the incoming any. Um, I really enjoy fishing outgoing tide. Well, just had another bite. Turn around and start easing back toward the mouth of this creek. It's a little bit deeper here. Got the sun. Maybe it'll help warm this water up a little. Just checked, it was 50 degrees. A little bit colder than I thought it was gonna be. But uh, that's the coldest water temp I've fished in yet this year by about five or six degrees. So I've gotta make myself slow way down. Hopefully, Let's see if I can fool him into biting a different color. Tide has just started coming in. Ah, right, there's a push right there. So there's something in here. Maybe that's what they were waiting on the tide to turn. Hit a uh, he hit a purple chartreuse tail uh, minnow Z, a three inch minnow Z. But I've got a little bit larger bait on here now. Uh -huh. Might need to downsize this a little. Got a feeling it was another striper. There we go. If I can keep him coming unglued. Oh! I actually think he just broke me off. Oh man, he did. Dang, how in the world? Broke up at the at the knot. Lord, it did look a little frayed looking right there. Might have been where I got hung up earlier this morning and didn't check it. So let me re rig. All right, I got re rigged up again. Seen another push, so I don't know. This tides turn, seem like they kind of get a little more active. Let's see if maybe I can pick up another one. Get, or pick up one to get get something to bite. And then there's one that's got a Z-Man Golden Boy, four inch paddlers hung in his lip. son Dylan did really well with this color uh, when he was home at Christmas uh, he caught about five or six stripers on this color here so, I know the reds like them 
gonna call it a red. But uh, I know they're here. <coughs> right here at the boat. Little striper. Came unbuttoned too. Dang in just in time. Not huge, but he's a nice little fish. Yeah. And there's Garrett. Proof. Right here at the boat again. Get a little red this time. This one's going to be a little over slot. Yeah, he pinches out at 23 and three quarter. Right, I'm going to let you go. Cooperate. There he goes. Like I said, that one hit right at the boat. Uh, they are here. Jet skis taking up the dock. 